Sarah Brady of Aaron Farr. I'm here the day after the 2023 Western States 100 with second place man Tyler Green. Congratulations Tyler, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty great. This is a special day to just be able to celebrate a great race. Brilliant. Um, this is not your first time here, so this is your fourth Western States. So you were 14th and then you've been kind of creeping up the field ever <laughs> since. You were second in 2021, fourth last year, second again here. But time-wise, this is a PB by how much? Uh, I think it's 53 minutes total, which is a big one. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. And do you think it's um, some changes you've made in your life? I believe you were stepping back from your teaching job. Has that helped to make room for you to train a little bit better? Uh, I think that was the initial intention. And then we had a kid. So that's changed that around a little bit. So I don't know if we have necessarily more time or not. Um, I think some other aspects of just the approach to the race, um, just experience is one thing. Um, but then then the uh yeah the training that we that we put in and um and just the sorry i'm losing my train of thought right You're now okay. sorry <laughs> uh yeah you want to go training uh, was yeah different this yeah year. training was different um oh and then it was just a it, it being a cooler year was an of opportunity course. for you know i was in 2019 it was a cool year and i really felt like i held back way way too much and this was um a chance for me to to rectify that and and be aggressive from the start and plus my my wife was very very adamant about like I'm most people know me as a conservative from the start runner um, but there have been some times when I have gone out a little bit harder Trans Grand Canaria was one of those um, this mm -hmm. this February and it turned out well and okay. I need to remember that I can I can go f both ways okay and having completed the course so many times already does that give you kind of more confidence to know how far you could push it without pushing too far yeah i mean it's definitely a new territory that i was in um having having gone a little bit harder at the start and you know by michigan bluff and forest hill knowing that i want to feel pretty good at that time um i was kind of doing some I don't know, scans of myself and seeing how I was feeling. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I can make it to the finish. But, mm. and Anthony and I chatted about this, like as we were running, we're like, this is our move. We're gonna, we're gonna go for it. And mm. maybe it fizzles out, but we're gonna go for it. Okay. And how much of the course did you share with Anthony? Uh, we were together or close together for mo pretty much the entire time, I would say. I think yes. I had eight minutes on him at one point. Um, let's see. I mean, Forest Hill all the way, or sorry, from the start all the way to Forest Hill, I would probably say like a minute or two minutes the entire time. Um, and then I didn't end up seeing him after Forest Hill, um, but he was always close. Okay, good. So you kept each other moving anyway. Yeah, yeah. It was fun to, fun to spend some time with him. Okay, brilliant. And at what point then did you find yourself in second? Because there was a lot of movement in front of you. Yeah, that was going into, it's Ford's Bar is the third Cal. Is that called Cal three as well? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I think it was going into there that um, that we made the pass on him. Mm -hmm. um, knew that it was knew that it, that the that the split or the the gap was coming down and that mm -hmm. we might be seeing him soon. Um, so passed him there and then never felt like it was locked up because by the time we got to Pointed Rocks, I heard that it was three minutes and I was like, <laughs> okay, we got to go. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty anxious. But it was nice that when you got to the track, um, you didn't have to do a sprint finish like last year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that was um, my my big mantra throughout that last climb was no regrets, no regrets, no regrets. And it's always been a goal of mine to climb all the or to to run all the way up to Roby Point. And besides, there's like those few like uh, railroad ties that just you can't really run, I would say. Mm -hmm. Besides that, I ran the whole thing and I'm really proud of that. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's great. And you had a lovely finish line moment then as well with your family. Yeah, that was really special. Um, we've had some different iterations. Uh, our, my first time, Rachel and I were married um, for a month and we'd been married for a month um, when we crossed the finish line together. And then um, the next year it was the two of us with her um, running in with me. And then she was pregnant last year, and now we have to have the baby to come along with us. Brilliant. And what about next year then? Um, do you think you're going to come back or are you going to pass the torch? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd really like to see uh, Rachel run this. And Great. so that's my hope is that she, she has an opportunity to. Um, I'm not going to totally say no to it just yet, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it's hard. It's just this, feels, this place feels like a family, and mm -hmm. I think it, one way or another we'll be here um, to, to, be, to celebrate with everyone this just yeah. an amazing event.
Okay, you need some time to digest this one first, I'm yeah. sure. Um, so in terms of this season then, are you taking some time out now or have you any more goals? Uh, the big plan over the year was not just Western States, but Western States UTMB double. Okay. Um, I think I think David Laney was the last one to go top 10 in both of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm halfway there, but there's a very big, um, a very big challenge ahead with UTMB. So um, for sure. I'd like to I'd like to go for that and, and see if I can get in the top 10 in, in both the, in one year. Okay and would you have to like switch up your training now massively to get more into the mountains pick up a pair of hiking poles and stop the speed work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely getting out the poles I think the speed's there so just maintaining that um, and then spend a lot of time in the mountains so this is I, I should say um, giving us an opportunity to to get out in the mountains Rachel and I will be and, and the baby will be heading out to Chamonix in a couple weeks and we'll spend our time there um, getting our training in and I think that should should be one little one extra piece of the puzzle that, that mm -hmm. to help us help set us up for success out there okay brilliant it sounds like you're all in for a fun summer anyway yeah definitely. <laughs> um, so congratulations again and thanks very much thank you so much